secret fails fast, but did Silicon Valley fail too? Silicon Valley is applauding the founder of the secret APP, which allows people to share rumors anonymously. Which is strange because he's failed. But what he's done is admit that the project has gone wrong, shut it down and returned the remaining cash to investors. And in the West Coast startup Bible, failing fast and moving on has become one of the Ten Commandments for all true entrepreneurs. But what the Valley and its venture capitalists should perhaps be doing is asking why they threw money, dollars $35 m in all, at what was an ethically dubious concept with no clear business model. In a post on Medium announcing the closure of the business, David Beto says, Secret does not represent the vision I had when starting the company. He goes on to explain that anonymity is a great device to achieve honest and open communication but is also the ultimate double-edged sword. You can say that again. In its early days, it was one of those hot apps that got Silicon Valley very excited, mainly because it was a scurrilous message board for the tech community. A couple of good stories did emerge there, the imminent departure of a senior Google executive, and Nike's scaling down of its fuel band project. But things degenerated pretty quickly, and it became a forum for semi pornographic chatter and a lot of spam. In recent months it appears to have been dominated by posts from Indonesia and today as news of the imminent closure spread that was seen as part of the problem, Indonesians have ruined secret said someone. All normal people have left because of them. But when I asked yes, it was my first post since joining who was to blame for the failure of secret, I got these two answers colon what then, did blue chip venture capital funds like Kleiner Perkins, Google Ventures and Index Ventures, all early investors in secret, think they were backing the game-changing social 